So you have your Nikon D3100 and you want to shoot manual. Let's talk about what those settings do. So how you get into manual mode is at the top here. You will want to have the M selected and then from there you can tap on the shutter button here and then that will bring the screen up. And so what we have here is the shutter speed, the aperture, and the ISO right here. Let me tell you what each of these do. The shutter speed determines how quick our subject is moving. If it's not moving, we can always lower this. So on a bright day like this, we can keep our ISO low, which ISO is artificial light that we're bringing into our camera. So the lower this is, the less grain there will be because it's artificial light that we're adding to our pictures. As for the aperture, this determines all what's in focus. So the lower this number, so for example, when taking portraits, I recommend 1.8 or 2.8. F4 will capture more of the subject and there won't be as much of a blurry background. So for example, we have this flower and you can always look back at your photos with the button here. So the higher our aperture number, the more this will be in focus. So let's show that off. So how we can increase our aperture is holding this button here and then moving this dial. So we're going to hold this and you're going to see this number change. That is the aperture. So we are shooting at F5.6. So let's go to 14 and we'll see how that affects our photo. So it is going to get darker compared to this. So the higher the aperture, the darker the image is something else you need to consider. But more of the image is going to get in focus. So let's adjust the camera to that higher aperture. So what we can do is press the I button down here and then we can go up to ISO and we can change that to let's try 400. So it's a bit brighter than the last photo. You can tell right there. We can also adjust the shutter speed if we want to. So we could probably go to 60 and that's as low as I would recommend right now. And we can also kick up our ISO and try 800. And so more of our image is going to be in focus and I'll be showing this on the screen, but you can tell that the first photo we took, it's pretty blurry, but the more we up the aperture, more of the background becomes in focus. So that's something to keep in mind. When it comes to shutter speed, which is right here, this is if our subject is moving and if we want to make it blurry or not. So if we make this a bit lower, Let's say one over 25 when we take a photo. That's a pretty cool image. We got the ground there. Now, if we were to move our camera like this, it's going to be blurry. And that's the kind of thing that happens. So for example, our camera was the one moving, but if our subject is moving, it will be blurry. When it comes to shutter speed, when it's one over 25, that is going to be a brighter image than if it were one over 50. The higher this bottom number becomes, which is makes it faster that we're taking the photo. So let's listen to this. That's one over 25 compared to one over 13. There's a bit of a delay there. So the higher this number gets, the faster we'll take our photo, but that means the less light we're letting in our camera. Let's change our aperture again. So all we have to do is hold this button and we can move that back. And you can also see this is changing as well. We're making the hole smaller, so it's gonna let less light in. The wider the hole, the more light we're letting in. And then same with the shutter speed. The higher this number, the less light we're letting in because it's moving so fast, because we're taking the photo faster. And then with ISO, that's the artificial light we're letting into the camera. So we can make things brighter or darker with this, but the downside is the more ISO we use, the more grainy our photo is going to become. And that is a quick rundown on manual mode in the Nikon D3100.